Down goes the Dallas Cowboys once again. They lost one week ago today to the Buffalo Bills on Thanksgiving in Dallas, and they lose tonight on the road in Chicago against the Chicago Bears. 31-24 final score. Coach Clapp, you know your time is coming to an end. Now, I don't know if that time is going to come to an end tomorrow, but you're no longer going to be the Cowboys coach after this year. Now, what I'm thinking is I want to talk about this for just a second. I don't think Jerry Jones is going to fire Coach Clapp, Jason Garrett. I think he's going to wait to the end of the year and just not bring him back and resign him because he didn't give him a contract extension before the year started. So he's under he's not under contract. He has no more years left on his contract. He will be a free agent, free to go anywhere to coach, wherever he goes. So that's what I'm thinking Jerry Jones is going to do. I don't think he's going to fire him. They're too close. They're too friendly. I don't think he's going to fire him. So he's going to just let him walk in, a, in, um, in the offseason and not bring him back. That's what I think is going to happen. But let's talk about this game. Mitch Trubisky outplayed Dak Prescott. I don't care about the stats late in garbage time from Dak Prescott. Every time in these garbage time games, it happened against the Jets. It happened last week against Buffalo. It happened against Green Bay when they were down by so many points. And he had to rally them back in the second half to try to come back and win. They lost all those games. Those garbage time yards, like Troy Aikman said, they shouldn't count. They shouldn't count. Oh, he threw for over 300 yards and multiple touchdowns. Bruh, they were getting blown out in each game I just mentioned. Why should they count? Oh, because stats matter? Yeah, stats does matter, but in my opinion, you're down by so many points. Of course, you're going to have to come back. Oh, he threw for 300 yards and multiple touchdowns, blah, blah, blah. Right, no. Mr. Trubisky outplayed him tonight. Mr. Trubisky accounted for four touchdowns tonight. Three passing, one rushing. And he had he had almost 70 yards rushing tonight, 69. Mr. Trubisky did his thing. These last couple of weeks, Mr. Trubisky has been on point. Got to give him props. He's been spectacular. Let's see if he can keep it up. Because that schedule down the road only gets tougher. I believe they still got Green Bay. They still got Kansas City. And they got another game against the Vikings. So it only gets tougher for them. But they're on the right track. They're moving upward and not downward. So shout out to Mr. Trubisky. Great game tonight. Great couple of weeks. Um, great game for him. As for the Dallas Cowboys, they fall to 6-7. and seven. Philly takes care of business Monday night against the Giants. They got Eli Manning coming back. Destroy him. Take care of business. And you'll be tied for first place in the NFC East. Now, somebody has to make the playoffs in this division. Who is going to be? Is it going to be Dallas or will it be Philly? We'll see. But great win for the Chicago Bears. They're still in it. 7-6. They're fighting. I applaud them. D-Lo, I know you're going to see this video. Salute to your boys, man. Mitch. I hopped on that bandwagon when everybody started shitting on them. I'm going to keep rocking with you, bro. Keep proving them wrong. This is it for me, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a video. Hit the links in the description. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Follow me on all my social media. I will see you guys Sunday night, Seattle, in Los Angeles. It's going down.